Division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make him yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 139 pounds. Body out of San Francisco, California, USA, Kid Dynamite. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Body out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the ufc all right here we go early round one we talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in mma but length and reach is another one he's got a great jab we'll see if he can employ it tonight you have got to be born with it right you don't get taller when you're a tall guy you have to understand make your skill set match your physical abilities and this guy has done this tremendously a couple of chins here being tested early nice body See if he can 
can finish. Superman punch now. Oh, big punch lands. Three minutes now to go in this one. Beautiful body kick. Just out of range with that right hand. <laughs> Lee's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Right under the elbow. Just missed with the left there. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Big kick lands. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? How good is that right hand? Nice defense there. Huge block. Rips the body there. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Nice punch lands over the top. Back and forth we go here. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them, guns are blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just misses with a left hook there. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking on, great. Fellas, How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Just unable to quite find that range. Ooh, blocks the shot. It's okay. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. He's missed with that jab attempt there. Good stick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Punch lands. Try to establish that jab.
telegraph that spinning back fist. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Game. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ten seconds remain in round two. Nice punch land over the top. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty Great good fight. previous two rounds, right. I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Circling away towards the left now. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, wow! Punch over the top. We march on three minutes to go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Right hand punch with the clinch. Get the force behind that leg kick. Straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Stay focused, stay focused. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. seconds to go. Just misses with the right. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Straight punch lands. Oh, 
Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Checks that leg kick. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Ooh, what a punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. to the head blocked. Beat him to the punch, beat first. Just over two minutes now to go. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big kick lands. 30 seconds to go. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Final seconds here. Big body kick. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target. Not hit her, he's going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. He's work, guys. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Watch the shot. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Under three minutes to decide this one. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Get him. 
whip his hip into that kick. Seconds now to go in the round. Big punch land. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Oh, that right hand is on point. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. Clearing the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon wins! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous